Welcome back to Dad Deals. Have you ever gone on vacation, gone on a hike, gone somewhere cool, wanted to get awesome drone shots, but just didn't want to deal with the hassle of learning how to really fly one like an expert or even worry about packing everything that you need to fly it? Well, in today's video, we're going to look at the Hover Air X1 Pro Max. This is not only one of the smallest, most compact drones out there. It can literally fit in your pocket. It also is able to fly completely autonomously by itself. You just set the mode, which is basically the shot that you want it to take, hold out your hand and it takes off and flies completely by itself, avoids obstacles, and really just gets you awesome drone shots without any of the knowledge of how to fly a drone or any of the prep at all. So Hover Air sent me over this drone to test out. It's on a Black Friday special right now. So stay tuned and I'll let you know my experience with it and show you how it works. So first up, as you see here, they have the base drones, either the X1 Pro Max or the X1 Pro. Now your difference here is $100 price, but it's also the Pro Max just has a little bit more obstacle avoidance capability on the rear of the drone. It can also reach a little bit higher resolution at 8K, while the Pro is limited to 4K. So honestly, the X1 Pro would probably be fine for most people, but if you just really want the best picture quality and the best sensors on the drone, you're looking at the Pro Max for an extra $100. Now, as you can see here on the site, they do have a lot of bundles that you can pick. And the one that I was sent was this power bundle. And I think that's the one that makes the most sense for most people. With that power bundle, you're going to get an extra battery, a charging hub, which is really nice. So you can charge the two batteries outside the drone. And you're also going to get a case with it as well, which is really nice to keep everything organized. But you're definitely going to want at least two batteries with this drone. The battery life is kind of limited on it. So I definitely think that's an extra splurge. And then I love that charging hub as well. But that's going to add an extra $130 to the price, bringing your total to about $730 if you choose the Pro Max with the power bundle. Now, the nice thing right now is that they're having a Black Friday special where they're going to throw in an extra battery, which is huge. So it's a great time to jump on these. Like I said, as many batteries as you can have, you really can't have too many. I would have at least two, and I think three would be the sweet spot. So I took this with me to my local park. And I'm just blown away at how easy it is to get really cool shots. Shots that I would really never be able to get unless I really practiced on a drone that I had to control myself. You can see this 360 circle shot that I took really right after I got out of my truck. This is the first shot I ever took on the drone. It took me just a few seconds to hit the button. And if you go to car shows or you go to anywhere like that and you want really cool shots, this was just super easy to do. Now, the other thing this drone can obviously do is it can follow you. And it's great at automatically avoiding trees or anything else that will get in its way. You can see me here walking. I tried to sort of walk side to side, turn back around, and it always kept me exactly the distance it needed to, exactly the distance that I set it to, and just created a nice smooth shot. So some of the shots this is capable of is not only following, it can also do a dolly track style shot. So that means basically a front facing follow. It can also do spiral shots around a subject, bird's eye view shots, different zoom ins, just so many possibilities here, all at the click of a button. And how you launch this is you just stick your hand out, hit the button, and it will take off from your hand. So while you're doing that, it will automatically identify you as the subject and as the person to follow. And then when it's done getting the shot, you just extend your hand out and it will literally land on your hand and turn off, which is just super easy, couldn't be easier. So there's no going into a controller and circling the subject that you want or anything like that. So you can see here, I did this spiral shot and it's in an area of high grass. So I wanted to see if it was able to avoid that high grass. I think that would be pretty hard for its obstacle avoidance sensors to see and pick up on. And you can see here, it had no problem avoiding that grass. You can see it pop up here. And even in the footage, you can just see it's very smooth. I also tried kind of running when it was in follow mode to see if it would keep up with me. And it just really never had any issues. Now you can also use their app to change the settings quickly and get into a little bit more detail on those settings. You can also use the app to control the drone like a traditional one would. So if you do want to manually control it, you definitely can do that. And yeah, I was just super impressed with it. I have some drones from other brands, but a lot of times I'm reluctant to bring it on sort of like a family walk or hike just because I don't really want to go through the whole process of getting it set up and launched and then controlling it and all that. This is just a super easy version. So I could totally see myself taking this on more family trips and just taking it with me to way more places because it just fits right in your pocket. You hit the button, get some quick shots and be on your way. So hopefully this gave you a quick overview of what this drone is capable of. Like I said, now's the best time to buy it during this Black Friday sale. 
and the holiday season coming up. But thanks again to Hover Air for sending me this drone out to test. And thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you found my video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys next time on Dad Deals.